there is a new GPT that's out there that can code out an entire application as you oversee the code being generated. Introducing GPT Pilot, a new model that is designed to assist you in software development by generating code for entire applications while being able to oversee code creation during the development process. Now you are able to utilize both GPT-4 and 3.5 models, however the GPT-4 model is preferred. Now on this channel, we have covered multiple models that focus on code creation like DevOps GPT, Stable Code, Llama Code, which recently just released yesterday, and many others. However, there are a couple of key aspects with GPT Pilot that makes it preferable compared to other models like the other ones that we talked about. Not saying that it's better, but it's definitely better in other circumstances because of how GPT Pilot is able to generate the code. Now, there is three aspects as to how it's described in its blog post to generate code. Firstly, they state that developers need to be involved in the process of app creation, meaning that you work alongside with GPT Pilot to code the app that you want to develop. Secondly, you have the app needs to be actually written step by step as developers would write it by giving GPT Pilot the instruction to write the code in each step. Lastly, you have the approach that needs to be scalable. So what does this all mean? Well, there is a narrative in the AI world where you expect applications and models like this to code out an entire software application from scratch, which necessarily isn't false, but we have seen models like DevOps GPT and GPT Engineer do this. However, they haven't been able to do it at the full extent where there's no bugs, there isn't an uh, application that's generated with faulty code and this is something that we see in most models that are out there that basically focus on code generation as it's not the best of the best model and obviously you're not going to get that type of refined model to generate such applications right away as there isn't advanced tech to do so at this current moment as we're definitely seeing development as we go day by day in the world of ai however what the creators of gpt pilot is trying to accomplish with this project is to create a model in which it's an interactive tool that generates code but also requires developers to check each step so that they can understand what's going on and so that the ai can have a better overview of the entire code base to generate whatever input they the user wants now this helps create better functional applications which is why i wanted to showcase this project as it does a great job in producing functional applications as well as different types of code with gpt pilot now throughout today's video i'll be showcasing how you can install gpt pilot getting to understand the new gpt model and lastly going over the architecture so with that thought let's get right into the video hey what is up guys welcome back to another youtube video at the world of ai i know we had a pretty lengthy introduction but i'm gonna get straight into the video and showcase how you can start using gpt pilot before we go more in depth with the application now first things first you're gonna need an application called git and this is gonna help you clone the repository onto your desktop secondly you will need python which is your code editor and lastly you'll need visual studio code now once you have all three of these applications installed we'll get back to the main github repository what i want you guys to do first is go onto the gpt pilot github repository click on this green button copy the link of the repository scroll down a little bit open up your command prompt once you have this open type in git clone paste the link and click enter now this will start cloning the repository so once you are done you can type in cd gpt pilot now click enter and what you want to do next is set up the environments for python so if you guys haven't done this before you can just click enter and it'll start installing the python environments that are required to run this application so this might take a couple of minutes depending on your gpu but once this is done i'll be right back once that is done you can source the pilot and file within the bin and the activate file now what you want to do is go into that file and copy this code and install the requirements by pasting it 
install requirements now you don't have to specifically go into that folder but you can just easily just copy and paste it and you're able to install the requirements that are needed for gpt pilot now this will take a couple of minutes but once this is done i'll be right back if you guys would like to access our private discord in which you can get partnerships as well as exclusive deals definitely check out the patreon page in which you can access this discord now if you guys haven't followed world of ai on twitter definitely do so so you can stay up to date with the latest ai trends and lastly make sure you subscribe to our notification bell and like this video as well as checking out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest ai trends now what i want you guys to do next is have your api key ready in which you can generate a new secret key Make sure you don't share this. Don't worry about telling me to delete this because I'll make sure I'll change it afterwards. Oh my God, what in the world is this stuff right here? Okay, I have to do it three times, but once I finish this, I'll be back. Now that took me a minute, but once you have finished copying your API key, you can open up Visual Studio Code, click on open folder, open up where you clone the repository of GPT Pilot. Now, once you have opened this up, you want to click on the drop down menu of pilot and once you're in this folder you can go into the env.example file rename this take out the example and the dot and click enter now what you want to do next is paste your api key over here and you can easily uh, click save and you'll be next you'll be good for the next step now guys there's two ways to start up gpt pilot you can obviously run it through visual studio code which i highly recommend or you can run it off command prompt. And what you wanna do if you're gonna run it off of a command prompt is copy this code and easily just paste it over here. But in this case, I'm not gonna be doing that. I'm gonna just showcase what to do. If you're on the main.py file within the pilot dropdown menu, you can easily just click this button. You're gonna be able to start running the application. Now, there is a couple of examples as to what the creator was actually able to do with this application to create certain apps. In this case, we're going to take a look at this video example in which he created a simple chat app with real time communication. But we're going to see some of the other examples in which he created a timer app where he gave a single prompt, create a simple timer using app using HTML, CSS, as well as JavaScript that allows users to set a countdown timer and receive an alert when the time is up which is very very easily set up with this gpt pilot application now he also created a markdown editor in which he gave this prompt and he was able to get this output now this is something that i'll showcase in the next step of the video where he actually creates this whole uh gpt or not gpt but real-time chat app which is absolutely amazing now you can see from the start once he launches the python application which you see over here python main.py he there is a question that gpt paula asks and it says what's the project name it says chat app then it says describe your app in an, as many details as possible and he just gives it a single prompt where you create a simple chat app with real-time communication so then it utilizes the api from openai to start sourcing different things that are needed to create this and then it asks should the chat app support chat app sorry support group chats as well as one-to-one -one messages and he says just one-on-one -on -one. now this is something that i was talking about at the start you're working alongside with the ai to create this application now we've seen gpt engineer do this but it doesn't go to the same extent as what this application is able to do as you're basically continuously working towards creating this application and we can see later on in the video you're able to get the generated uh application on your local host in which he opens this up i believe over here at the end of the video we can see that you have this chat app that has been created where you can get real-time interaction with the different users that are created with this ai now this is absolutely amazing as we can see he created this application less than five minutes now imagine something like this being created and being more refined as more time and resources are put into this application it could show that this could be very evolutionary revolutionary as it can solve a lot of projects and it can create many different types of applications for people's as well as different companies that are out there so definitely check this out but now we're going to get to the next step of the video where we're going to talk a little bit more about gpt pilot by understanding the architecture as we talked about the start there's three main pillars of gpt pilot Firstly, you have the developer collaboration in which instead of having the AI working alone, you team up with the AI to develop as well as work alongside with the AI to code 
and generate certain types of context of the application. Now this teamwork combines the strengths of AI and human expertise to generate different applications, which are better than some of the different types of apps that are out there currently. Like not apps, but like the models that are out there that generate AI code. Now this is something that is very beneficial as to what pillar they are focusing on with this application. Secondly, you have the pillar in which the app needs to be coded step by step. And what this means is that GPT Pilot doesn't create the entire code all at once. It breaks it down into processes, into like smaller steps. And just like how developers build an application, you basically focus on one part at a time. You don't just single handedly create everything all at once. You work, debug, catch and fix different types of errors alongside the AI as it's generating the application. Thirdly, you have the pillar of which GPT Pilot needs to be scalable. And what this means is that to handle bigger projects, GPT Pilot uses smart techniques and it keeps the amounts of information that it uses consistent throughout the development process so that it can understand the existing code and build on top of it without messing anything up. Now, it's able to handle errors in different layers and it fixes them one by one, which helps in dealing with complex projects. Now, as we talked about at the start, why are we covering such a small project like this? And this is why, because of the three main pillars in which this project is focusing its in infrastructure upon, as it works on developing high quality applications in the AI world with the AI, not just developing random projects, which we see from like DevOps GPT. I'm not trashing it, but I'm just saying you're not able to get the most refined application out of that development or that model. In this case, you're working alongside with the AI to make sure that it is being able to develop the best project out there. So this is why I really wanted to cover it because of the infrastructure that it is built upon. Now guys, there's a lot more information on what is the actual like meaning as well as the development of how it works. So if you want to get more information on this, I highly recommend that you check out their research paper, their blog post, as well as their GitHub repository, which I'll leave all the links in the description below. But in general, this is an amazing application in which you can work alongside with an AI to develop many different types of applications. So I highly recommend that you check this out. I'll leave all the links so you can definitely check it out. And I'll keep you guys posted on the Patreon page if you guys are following along. If you want to be a part of this group, definitely check, check out the link in the description below. If you guys haven't followed World of AI on Twitter, definitely do so so you can stay up to date with the latest AI trends. And lastly, make sure you subscribe, turn on notification bell, and like this video so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. And if you guys haven't seen my previous videos, I highly recommend that you do so so you can stay up to date with the latest AI trends and videos. So with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, stay positive, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.